What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid, and uh, this video is basically talking about two uh, big name brands. Uh, Sire has recently rose up in notoriety, and uh, Fender, which is a tried and true main staple of any bass player that's in America. When you think of bass, you generally see in your head the Fender design, you know. Um, which also other bass makers kind of copy that same body design for whatever reason. So, uh, Sire versus Fender. Uh, let's start with Fender. Uh, value. Most Fenders, if you're actually getting an American made, like an American standard, you're going to pay the upwards of $1,000 to $1,500. That's just how it is for American standard. That's what I've seen online. If you're going more the made in Mexico, made in Japan, that type of thing, you probably pay close to about five sixty to about seven ninety nine, depending on what you're trying to do and if you want to add in uh, features and stuff like that. Um, so that's a thing. And then uh, Fender has a underline which is Squire, and those usually go around mid three hundred, so three fifty. 379 something like that you can also go the used route and get a fender made in mexico probably around 400 bucks so it's about the same thing as the uh a squire price point uh now that's that's assuming a lot of things so when you get like a we're talking mid-level type of stuff so when you go and get a mid-level uh fender base and say you know for all intents and purposes let's say it's 650 for a made in Mexico jazz Fender bass. Um, when you pay that money, you're not getting, you're getting the craftsmanship because they do come out pretty, pretty standardized as far as feel and stuff. They usually come out with good frets and you have to get it set up to your liking, but usually they're playable right out of the box. Just tune and go, that type of thing. Um, but you're not getting active electronics and some people can argue that doesn't really matter. Uh, for me, it did. So, uh, and then you're at some point you, you're kind of paying for a label. So like uh, GMC and Chevy is kind of the same thing. So you pay like ten thousand dollars more for a badge. That's just how I feel. Uh, I think I've talked about this in a video prior, but it eludes me at the moment. So, um, but let's now switch over to uh, Sire. They recently rose to notoriety because they were pushed by Marcus Miller, awesome, awesome bass player. And he was really, really insistent that he has a preamp that was really, really versatile. And I will say to attest what he said or what he did, this, this preamp that he puts in all of his basses is A1. And it's really nice by itself, period. Um, Nobody could ever be Marcus Miller but Marcus Miller, but if you try to emulate him, this is the closest you're going to get to doing that. Uh, I do recognize that he was with Fender before he put out the Sire bass and he still plays a Fender when he does concert. I understand that. But for the price point, when they come in, uh, you can get so much more bass for a lot less money. So we'll start with the uh, lower line, right? So I like five strings. So the two that I have up for debate is the M2 and the P7. I also have the Vintage V7 and I have another M2 that's uh, out there. I was playing a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, so we'll talk about these two specifically because I have them here. Um, so this is a five string uh, P7. It's a P7 because of the P pickup. Now, I'm not sure if Fender actually does this configuration within the price point that I said earlier, but this is a PJ bass that's active, feels phenomenal, and it's like, I think now it's $569 or $599. Uh, you can go to the website and actually check it out. They actually are in the second generation of this model. This is the first generation. So, um, I would definitely recommend this. I recommend this to the bases that wants to buy one base and serve all purposes that he could possibly need. 
that is a good go-to. So if you want to do slap stuff, both pickups, boost treble, boost bass, cut mid, uh, master tone all the way up, put it between both pickups and go for it. If you want to do some Motown stuff, uh, bring the sweeper to the low mid section, boost mid, boost bass, cut treble, cut down master tone, and all of a sudden you got like a Jameson type of thing going on there. And um, yeah, now on this side, this lanes more to the Ernie Bob Music Man. The whole thing is two humbuckers and if I could pick it up, they're set in such a way that they make every, like it's extremely crisp, it's extremely bright just inherently. Uh, another benefit about this bass is it's extremely light. Like it's extremely light. I'm fairly strong, but you can tell I'm just flipping it around. It's not heavy like that. Like it's not heavy at all. So if you had to play long gigs and if you're out in the sun or whatever, this wouldn't be killing your back after a long period of time. And it has phenomenal slap tone and it looks gorgeous, like it's beautiful. So uh, now let's talk prices. I said that one was probably $569. I think these retail second generation for I think $429, but don't quote me. You can go to sire-usa.com. Uh, all the stuff are there. Just do the drop down pane, find the bases I'm talking about. I might link them in the description below uh, just so you don't have to go and search it or whatever. But phenomenal bases. So if you're asking me if I would go Fender or I'd go Sire, if, even if I had a lot of money, I probably would go the higher end of Sire. So, like, instead of playing a V7, I might go V9 because. That's the upper echelon, that's the upper crust of what they offer as a line. Some people think so, some people don't. That's just me. So, um, for the price of one American made Fender, we're talking $1,500, $1,600. You can literally buy four of these. That math in and of itself kind of sells itself. So, rather than buy one base for $1,600, I can buy all the colors of this base and then have options to match my clothes if that was important to you so um but yeah so i don't know how they're able to do it i thank them for doing this this is not a paid promotion this is just me speaking on something that a commenter asked and he actually asked me if i had to grab a bass and play it what would i grab first uh, so I told him, and it was between the Sire P7 and the M2, I told him, for versatility purposes, I reach for this one first. That's just me. But if it's like just me practicing and wanting to play around on something, I grab that one first. So this is for me joking around and just learning feels and doing stuff. I'd actually take that to a session. I have had I have taken this to actual sessions and actually played on tracks and stuff like that. So, Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want to belabor the point. It's already been about seven minutes, eight minutes, and I'm going uh, to go ahead and get out of here.